Hello, my beautiful Aries friends. How are you today? We're here with your Life Path and Abundance reading for the month of April. Happy birthday. So your overall energy is release. You are letting somebody or something go. They're an idea, a way of thinking, a way of doing things because you want your freedom. You want a level of happiness and just not feeling so burdened by the world. And the advice of spirit is life is speeding up. So Aries, you have the sun and Venus in your in your first house. Now, when we look at the sun and Venus, you feel disappointed in love to some degree. You're feeling this, this feeling that you have is that life is really not where it needs to be. Five of cups, you're, you're disappointed in some people, some places, some relationships. It seems to you that in your relationships, there's an aloofness. You want love, you want happiness, you want sex, you want joy, you want beauty in your life and you're, you're longing for it. When we look at your seventh house of partnership, we see the King of Swords energy, Aquarius, aloof, again, sort of very, um, you're just not feeling the warmth that you would like to feel. When we go into your second house, Taurus is ruling your second house, that's your money, that is your, that's your money, that's your partner's money. So it looks as though for many of you, you may suddenly decide to leave a job, a circumstance, because this is your earned money, things that you value. You may be packing up and also thinking about leaving uh, the area that you live in, moving to a different home. You're there's a sense that you're giving up burdens. You're really going to release burdens with this release card. Um, you are getting a gray, much greater sense of freedom because Uranus means that in your work life, you need a lot more freedom than you currently have. You may suddenly lose a job or leave a job. There is an element of choice because this is releasing something that's too burdensome. Your partner is really coming in. They're really going to fulfill the need. If you have a partner, um, we're getting that if you're in a marriage or a marriage-like relationship, your partner's going to cover the bills. They're going to take care of everything. You know, they're going to maintain the cars. This is very nurturing energy. It is Cancerian energy. And when we look at this energy, you know, you can let go of your burdens. You can have more freedom and your partner will really cover things. I like this nurturing energy because it's a little bit hidden, um, but it really speaks to the fact that your partner is there to catch you, to have your back. Now, if you are not in a partnership, what it says is that if you're like looking for a bank loan or you're you're looking to buy a car, you're looking for um, money, other people's money um, indicates that you would be approved for the loan, whether it's a house, whether it's a car, signing a contract. If you're looking to go ahead and get some, say, a surgery, uh, it shows that this might be the time that you choose to do it. You're feeling free enough. It really is also a time when you're really taking charge of your life in every way. And again, you know, when we look at the antelope spirit, life is speeding up and we can really see it right here in terms of partnership and money and the way you want to live. Life is speeding up and it, it is going to give you a lot more freedom. So I'm happy for you on that. The third house and the ninth house, this is Gemini for the Aries rising and Aries sun sign too, but really rising. Mars is there. You are feeling very active. This would be the kind of indication that you could be signing a contract, justice card, to move to a different location. It could come about very suddenly. Um, and it really looks as though with this Mars energy, you have lots of energy R doing errands, packing boxes, signing contracts, doing whatever you have to do basically to move to a place that you're going to like much better. The Eight of Wands indicates a place uh, far from you, distant. So this would be like moving from Chicago to Florida, something like that. And so many of you will make a major change whatever it is, it could be eight miles away, but it is, it represents a really major level of freedom, happiness. So if you live in a city environment, you might move out to where there's hiking trails and you can be physically really active. For those of you who are looking to go back to school, 
um, it's a really it's a wonderful time for you to do that it shows that you'd be accepted into the university you'd be accepted into if you're looking to publish something start a YouTube channel or do anything uh, in terms of noteworthy or like if you're publishing articles or you know where you're going to make a public statement or take a stand very fruitful time in your life eight of wands energy moving a for forward and it's Sagittarius energy so we really like that when we look at your home life you really want to be in a home and have relationships that are very fiery and fun you need a lot of passion in your relationship at this time you really want someone who is there for you someone who's passionate who's sexy who has a lot of pride in you and in your home you have a lot of pride in you and your home when we look at your energy here it looks as though with this Venus and Sun with the King of Wands you're going to have a very sexy hot month and we see it here with this Leo energy in your fifth house of romance the fifth house is children of your mind and body so if you have children they will it will be a great month for children we have Jupiter here and this all of this good luck if your children are going through uh, like going they're doing well in school whatever they're trying to do they're having great success but here you are in this beautiful energy of the lovers card soulmate energy uh, you know the king of wands is literally passionate but it says that your favorite place to make love is at home <laughs> and what we're seeing also is the ace of wands in your career it looks like you're going to have a major change when we're looking here we're just looking at your earned income but when we're looking at the 10th house for you you're going to take a passionate approach of working from home in some way whether it be self-employment I do feel as though you'll give up a, a, the job that you have now many of you will make a major change and we have Pluto the the uh, card or the planet of transformation is in your 10th house of career the ace of wands says that you have a passionate new beginning so again if you're looking to learn something new at a higher level advanced degree above above high school you are going to be accepted and you're going to have a new passionate start in career that's going to prove to be quite delightful for you it will really make you feel exhilarated and happy like I said we have this beautiful fifth house where you're going to get out you're gonna have fun you're looking good you smell good you're you know you're really up for fun and a good time and with this fifth house energy it really speaks volumes to the fact that you're going to have your wish fulfilled great birthday for you great birthday celebration maybe something surprising in store for you when it comes to your sixth house of everyday work you're you're expanding reliably into something that's going to pay off for you long term in a big way so when we look at Saturn that's the taskmaster Saturn is trining Mars so right now all is kind of well on the everyday work front it's as good as it gets I think for many of you again you feel burdened by whatever it is but you're going to transform your work life in the very near future your career specifically Jupiter the planet of good fortune is really giving you a chance to also improve your health with discipline and uh, temperance card is really about balancing everything out when we look at your sixth house of um, everyday uh, work life so now we go from we go from the fifth to the I'm sorry from the yeah the fifth to the eleventh I apologize so I get that you really will have good relationships with people now again the sixth house with Pluto there and Pluto in your career house and Uranus in your ten, the ten with the ten of wands. I would really say that you are going to make life like career changes, dramatic career changes, and it's going to give you a sense of freedom and liberation. Right now, behind the scenes, you have people who communicate with you. I feel in a very nefarious way you're having some struggles here people are not telling you the truth so I feel as though that which is hidden is bothering you right now this may also involve someone a relative or somebody who is 
in the hospital or having medical problems and as much as you try to help them, as much as you try to reason with them, they don't seem very reasonable. So take it as it resonates, you know, it'll be different for everybody. And if one of these parts of the reading does not apply, just ignore it because it is of course a general reading. Let's go ahead and clarify the cards and see what else the energies are bringing forward. So in this, in your love life, you felt disappointed, but things are looking up. Venus and Sun are bringing in sexiness. You're going to look beautiful if you're meeting uh, friends and associates of a lover. It's going to be a wonderful time for you. And I do feel as though someone's going to apologize for their lack of uh, support in some ways. The queen of the hearth and the home is clarifying your first house, Aries. So you are going to really spruce things up. I think, again, many of you are going to move. You're going to move for work reasons. And you are going to be in your joyful, airy self, being the absolute queen of your own life. You know, what that which fulfills you and makes you happy. Let's look at what's clarifying this aloof partner here. This is Aquarius energy. Um, okay, your person watches you. Wow, your person doesn't want to say much. They sort of watch you to take the lead. So that's not bad. I like it. Everybody's watching you. You're looking good. You're the person who should take the lead, and that's what your partner thinks at this time. So let's see about this earned income thing that's going on over here. You will get a blessing. Wonderful. A blessing. Whatever it seems at the time, if you lose a job or decide to leave suddenly, it will be a true blessing for you. You will be secure financially. Uh, whether or not you are with a partner, you have the number eight, five and three is eight. Stability and growth. The paradox. <laughs> so, you know, you have some things that you need to work out. A paradox is nothing other than things are confusing. And right now you don't know everything that you need to know, but you will by month's end. So I would not worry about that too much. The paradox is that, you know, just because you love to move, say, to a distant location far away that will bring you happiness, the paradox may be that, you know, you'll miss family that you're close to. So, but it does look like you will make a wonderful decision and everybody adores you and you have a really good family life. So I feel things will work out beautifully for you. So when we look at the third house of communication, we look at Mars and all that energy and in, in getting ready to move. Captive man means that you probably have more chores than you know what to do with. Uh, so if you're boxing up things to move, you're going to feel really burdened by it. But again, let's see what else we have here. The sorcerer, you will magically make it all work. You will figure out how to handle all of those issues. The justice card, again, is usually signing legal paperwork in some way, a contract or something. All right. The queen of laughter. Oh, beautiful. It does look as though if you move to a faraway location or you go on a vacation that is far away, it looks like you're going to absolutely have a wonderful time. Lots of passion, lots of fun, lots of laughter. Oh, Pan, I love it. Oh, goodness, Pan, like Peter Pan. Think of Peter Pan. I won't grow up. I don't want to go to school. You're going to play and in the house of play. So it looks as though you're taking flight. I feel as though many of you will go someplace by air. And it looks like a delightful, fun time for you to experience romance. And you'll really feel very loved and supported by that. So when you have romance, it's, it's just a wonderful energy for you. And if you are moving, you're going to adore your new home environment. The messenger is here, Pluto. So you're going to hear about a new job or a new career opportunity. I feel that that message will come in for you and it will give you a new opportunity. Look at that. <laughs> this little guy's got his head poked out from the ground going, I'm looking around, I'm looking around, and you don't see the messenger. He's, he pops right on top of you and gives you a message that you didn't expect to have. Beautiful message too. Ace of Wands, new career development. So let's see what the energy is. Speaker of the truth. Oh, look at you, Aries. You speak the truth. You, you are the penultimate truth speaker. You are going to confess your soul, your love to this, this significant other who is a soulmate. 
it's just really <clears throat> helps the relationship it also transforms the relationship a great deal <clears throat> the queen of owls you are the queen of wisdom when it comes to your associations with others people look to you for advice you are a very good friend you're a very good person to know in the workplace so it really speaks well for your associations going forward in your new career shadow of the past there is someone who um, has haunted you a little bit and it looks like lord of the forest we get the lord of the forest somebody that you had a relationship with that ended and um, it does look like it it's sort of it's you're thinking about this day to day as you go through your daily routine you are thinking about this person um, and you know let's see what it's doing to you psychologically it looks like it's a bit of a headache you know you're wondering like well why now why would they contact me now with this mercury mercury and neptune what did they really want with me that, that is your challenge. So that is a challenge right now. Psychologically, that this person didn't necessarily treat you well. and But you have longed for them. Let's see what the outcome is. You're of two minds. And you really feel as though this person just whitewashes everything. So I really don't think that you're going to be a big fan. Um, it does look like you really care for them, you, but you think that you're in a no-win situation. If you were to leave this lover that you're with and go to this other person who has reappeared in your life, I don't think that you would feel as though you could win. They will speak sweet nothings to you. They will tell you that you are fantastic. You are the lady of the song. And it does look like it's, uh, it does feel rewarding. It's like redemption. You know, I do feel as though you will get an apology this month. Let's see what they would like to say to you that they haven't said to you yet. Let's see. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. So if you decide to go back together with this person or spend time with them, just make sure you take it really slowly because... You know, hurt me once, shame on you. Hurt me twice, shame on me. And that is how you're thinking about this. You're thinking that if you go back to this person and they aren't nice, that it would be sort of, you'd have a, you'd have some responsibility there. It says your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. It'll remain to be seen, though. I feel very much that the partner that you have right now may be the choice. So anyway, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, share, and comment below. Sending you love from Chicago. Hope to see you soon in another video. Thank you so much for joining me here. Love all of you. Take care. Bye-bye, Aries.